any of these games that you're seeing, you know, uh, Nanio throws together great titles. Track Mania was so easy to pick up and play. Here we are, Shoot Mania, proving to be identical, man. It could feel like I could play this game uh, at, a, at a decently okay level right off the bat just to, to get started, but I can see the intricacies, the depth of skill that's involved in this game, not just gun skill, but also things like positioning, creativity, and, uh, and, and having a lot of plays at your disposal. Yep, and now the map that we're going to be looking at is actually a Nadio map, if I'm correct. I can go ahead and double check that, but uh, yeah, it is a Nadio map. It is uh, Castle Crasher. I just want to double check because I, I don't remember, I, I but Castle looked, Crasher is yeah. a, uh, you know, one of, one of our original map pools, uh, one of the maps in our original pool um and uh, the players liked it they voted for it and, and it's back so uh it's a great map too and wall jumps really do change this map a lot by the way and a testament to the game castle crashers oh yeah castle crashers. xbox live arcade games ever yeah oh yeah for sure one of one of the greatest uh, it's still actually one of the top 10 most played and most purchased really? uh, xbox live games. i think they have it for like uh, the ipad and all the like mobile dude games that now. game is like everywhere it, it's like it's almost as if it's uh borderline it's cooler than angry birds but uh it is you know it's everywhere and great nice shot by shot, cypher but he couldn't do anything yep could not and now with a series call at it culture crasher culture cr <laughs> You know, it's on like every that's a good one. single thing. <laughs> Thank you. As, uh, it will be Epsilon's The King coming up to attack here. And for some reason, the mouse keeps on moving. That's Andrew's fault, actually. I he, have thick thighs, man. That I maybe didn't need to know that one. But uh, <laughs> here we go now. The King uh, in the middle of the map here. Uh, no defenders actually playing far back, but a great shot. 62.7 meter shot by the King on Keeper. That now it's going to really be a fun. 1v2 with one armor remaining. All right. Well, oh, nice strafing in the middle of the sky. Oh. And that's it. The King cleans up house. That was really, um, I mean, his shot there on, on the, I think it was Lacame who was up on the ledge. And, uh, of course, catching Cypher as he came around the corner. Both um, just so, wow. I mean, I'm so impressed. Yeah, it was just a great shot there, a great round win. Uh, that was a very well-played match by the King there. I, I tell you, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. Talented player, knows what he's doing. And now we're going to have Lacame on the attack here for uh, Millennium as uh, we have a lot of Ooh, wow. double tap from S7. Good, good stuff by S7 to give him that double tap there. We are going to have a pressure-filled situation for Lakame as uh, Lakame is going to see one defender hanging out. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to see some rocket flurries, and that is going to be it. It's three to one now, and it seems as if we are uh, we're looking at an Epsilon win if they can keep this momentum going. Oh, that takeover. You know, they had a lot of momentum at the end of the last they did. set on Iron Fist, to be honest. They so probably just carried over. They're exactly probably feeling good. Exactly what I was, I was thinking, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you are right. You are a, <laughs> you are correct, sir. Alex is the test of veracity, which I hold all my statements up against. What? How does that, how does that work? I don't get it. Well, uh, you know, before I decide if something is true or not, I have to run it by you. Okay, well, yeah, then, it, then that makes sense, because I am the almighty. Oh, the what game! Was that? The game standing still. Tea time by S seven. Tea time, lols. <laughs> Tea time for the game. That was actually a sickness term, man. He he made that one famous. Uh, whatever someone's just standing still, that's tea time, basically. Uh, all right, man. Great I stuff. Dig it. Great stuff by uh by S seven now. As the goal is going to be active. Oh man, but this is not going to be hey, good he's here. Caught. He really is. Eight seconds on the clock. S7 oh, getting right one, though, with a 10.6. It's going to be Cypher taking a seat. And That's another it, one man. by Keeper. S7. Wow. wow. Sent that laser by Keeper's way. Keeper couldn't hold it. <laughs> and he dies. He made Good one stuff. mistake, you know, getting caught a little far he forwards. Did. But then it was just easy peasy from there. S7 showing us that he can play just as well as the King. And Epsilon's now up 4-1 to one to try to tie up this set. I swear, if your prediction comes true, I'm going to be so mad at you. <laughs> just because you're like, I think this is going to go to a 2-1. And now Epsilon's playing like gods right now. Like, that's that's fantastic. Oh, Way to go, Andrew. Man, if they take this like 9-2, to 9-3, to three, the momentum that they're going to have, the confidence in game number 3... Uh, that could be really, really rough. But remember, if they do lose the set, correct me if I'm wrong, Millennium will choose map number three. They will. They will. And, uh, you know, we don't know what their choice will be, but Cephas just got three uh, plus zeros there as he shot three rockets. So that's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, and that is a big uh, thing here. We can obviously tell that Epsilon is very comfortable on Castle Crasher. Uh, and oh, and perhaps Millennium just hadn't practiced it enough. Great pressure by Cypher. Cypher, Cypher able to get two, so it will 
will be a 1v1, one armor remaining. Whoa. Rocket just whizzing by. I think he jumped over that one. He's going to take it up onto the laser pad now and leap back down. The uh, keeper is keeping this place secure. The uh, goal point, two seconds remaining, but he's in a difficult spot right now. Oh, man. But misses the laser, and that's it. Seth has taken out a little bit of momentum stalling here by Millennium's keeper. They really, really needed to stop that run, they and did. Cypher has to step up here just like he did in the last game to kind of, you know, get the team cooking, get everything started. Cypher was playing amazing on defense, but he needs to do that once again as Cypher is going to make his way over to the middle area. One defender by the left side cages and another one in mid cage. And we're waiting to see what uh, the defense is going to do. Great nice shot, shot by Cypher. Cypher. Taken out S7 and now finding someone over on the right side. That's going to be uh, it, Cephas as well. And 1v1, one armor remaining. The King versus Cypher. Two players who have been very impressive in this matchup thus far. Who is going to come out victorious here, Kibble? Cypher seems oh, to know where he is. He time oh, for my King. God. Oh, my God. It was airborne tea time. <laughs> That was just dirty. Man, uh, that was just very... Uh, Fun fact. That, that displays a great understanding of the game out of Cypher. Fun fact, he shot him betwixt the butt cheeks. <laughs> what has he felt? You up? had to say between them. Really, no, like, but no, no, no. I said betwixt. That's the betwixt. best part about it. Betwixt. betwixt. Like, I was watching an episode of American Dad. Oh, wow. Great shot by the king. Now he's just... Oh, oh my God. Man. What was that? Another great the shot. The king says, Cypher, Cypher, you and I, we have a little bit of a vendetta here going on. You know what? We both had the, the big heavy plays for our team. And now he's actually going to be dancing off against Cypher. Cypher has to take out three armor. The king only needs bad. to land one shot. If Cypher can win this, oh my god, I will be so blown away. Four seconds before the goal becomes live here. King's going to make his way in, throwing down a laser. Can't connect with it. he's not diving here. 13 seconds on the clock. King's going to make his way in, and he gets the is. kill, extending the lead, taking two attack round wins. So basically what I was saying was it was just episode of American Dad where, like, <laughs> they had to do something funny to uh, the character in this MMO that they were playing. Did they have to and hit then them with something the, betwixt the butt cheeks? Yeah, and then he was like, I must remove this gem betwixt my butt cheeks. I just thought it was pretty funny. Uh, so, uh, a little... Know, it, was, it was comical, man. little humor, a little humor. Yeah, you, but you, betwixt, betwixt is great. Chuckle. So I really shouldn't have embellished on that oh, story. Jesus, seven, man. Where did that... I just... I stepped away first. I looked, literally, for right one <laughs> second. Wow. You're killing me that right now, Andrew. Up. You were killing me with this prediction. What? You're oh, like, with, the, with the two to one. I'm pretty sure it's going to be two to one. Like, uh, it's just Sometimes you just get a feel, man. I, I call it uh, beginner's luck. Okay. You know? Perhaps perhaps you're right. As uh, now it is going to be S7 here after getting that amazing triple tap. He's going to try and see if he can get some high ground on this left side cage, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But he is going to get pegged one time by Lacane from that oh, laser pad. Oh, man. And Keeper with the stop on S7. And now it is going to be uh, well, the battling keeper back. Attack. That's for sure. I mean, they've closed sure. the gap by, uh, two, well, I believe only one point actually. Um, but here it is, keeper pressing out for his team. And keeper has seemed much more, no pun on his name or anything, but has seemed to be more of a defensive star uh, than than the offensive. But he's taking a very interesting route right now under the tunnel. We haven't actually seen this utilized yet, I, I believe. Oh, dirty. And he just shot the wall, right? No, no, no. What? He didn't shoot. What happened was there was a defender on the laser pad. As soon as he crapped around a corner, the defender pretty much had him there. Mind you, we are actually on an EU host. Yeah. So a few of the things that we're watching is going to be slightly, slightly delayed, delayed. Yeah. Uh, in comparison. So sometimes you might see some ghost shots um, where, like, the uh, attacker or the defender is just not there. But uh, it happens from time to time. But in any case, so Cephas on the attack already losing one armor thanks to Cypher's connection with that rock and scores 8-4. to four. Mm. Cephas wins this. We're going to be going to a game number three, baby. Cephas coming around the corner. Oh. He really wants to take this, but now he's down to one armor versus three opponents, and I, uh, he doesn't get tagged like I thought there, but he's just too close to too many players here, and there it is. Yep. Cephas taken out That's by be it. Okay. Yep, and now 8-5 to five is the score. Cypher on the attack here. We okay. only have one successful attack round win for Millennium. They need two. Done at the hands of Cypher, though. They, yeah, that's right. So if anyone could do it again, it could very well be Cypher, as we see uh, Cypher waiting for that flurry of rockets to pass by, and then he decides to take his time with the attack. So the question is what Cypher's plan of attack is going to be. It seems like right side with a focus and intention to the left, but he's rotating to the mid cage, and I'm worried about this one. <laughs> 
All right, well, now he's gotten past his opponents, and with 20 seconds remaining on the clock, if he can stall them here and then make a sprint for the goal point, he may be able to cap it pretty quickly. But where is... He still is... has that last defender playing on top of the laser pad and near the goal site. You never want to abandon the goal, especially oh, on a close-off map like Castle Crasher. One That's a armor point. remaining, and that is going to be it. it. Epsilon takes game number two. We're going to a game three, baby. Had to be for the last one, and uh, which I don't mind, of course. Just throwing you're it just, out there. You're just angry that... Yes. No, I'm, I'm angry you predicted it, and, and that's right. Like, either way, it's going to be a 2-1. So in any case, my name is... Uh, if Chris could bring back the uh, the lower third real quick, I just want to do something cool Yeah, guys, fast. if you aren't following my friend Golden Boy here, lower third, lower third. you need to get here that go. done. <laughs> follow me, and then you follow him. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. It looked cool. Uh, so, yeah. In any case, guys, we're going to have the next game coming up in just a second. It's going to be Rust. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to tell the players, go ahead and play. Oh, it's uh, Rust. Yeah, we're going to have...